Why hello you're watching me have a look at the Star Trek official Starship Collection by Eagle Moss. So we're looking at number 126, which is this little beauty. It's another Wolf 359 kit bash. If you don't know what kit bash is, it's basically going to get kits from other ships and just stick them together to make a new class or new model. Um, obviously this is from Wolf 359, you know the first battle with the Borg. You probably see it for about a quarter of a second on screen, if that. You're probably looking at it and find out I'm totally wrong. So let's have a look. So she's a cruiser launched in the 24th century. Hmm. Looks a bit plain, the saucer does. Lack of detailing. Uh, warp 9.6. It's quite a nippy little ship, isn't it? Let's have a flick through. Um, that's the Klingon battle cruiser thing. Uh, what's she got? It's got the usual out of focus. Let's try to get some focus. Seriously? You pay all this money for a camera and you can't even get some focus. I think it might be the light reflecting off it and it's confusing it a bit. Let's try turning some light off. No. Okay, so there we are, 24th century. Uh, warp 9.6, phaser missiles and torpedoes. Um, yeah, Wolf 359, bit of debris floating around. I'm actually quite disappointed this camera not working properly at all. Uh, had three warp nacelles, it showed its parts found on both Galaxy Ambassador, so it's got the Ambassador, Star Drive, looks like the Galaxy nacelles, and a hybrid of the two on the saucer. Um, you don't actually see it on screen by the look of it, it's literally just a couple of little flicks. But you can see definitely the Star Drive section from the Ambassador. But yeah, look... I could say it's the ambassador dish as well, but look at it. Um, not much to say about that. It's quite obvious. Um, building it. Oh, that's a big model. I like the belt damage. I've also had a thing for battle damage ships. Behind the scenes. Some more pretty pictures. More pretty pictures. So when was it seen? Best of both worlds number two. Yep. No surprise there. What we got coming up next? Got that. What is that? The Emo Starship. A highly advanced vessel with an ion propulsion drive that was operated by female inhabitants of Sigma Drakos 6. That was an original series. I've not seen all the original series. You notice my magazine is quite creased up and battered. Right, let's have a quick look at the model, shall we? It's a bit, a bit of an interesting one, isn't it? If we can actually see it properly. Yeah, I think it's the lighting in here messing up my phone, my camera. Where's the phone as well, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Well, the dish is very heavy. Bottom side's plasticky, but that's metal. We'll see these are little plastic. Straight away, I've noticed. Let's hold it like that a bit. You got your phaser strips, and you got two phaser strips here. I hope these are going to be firing forward because if they fire backwards, they're going to be taken off your nacelles. Very clever. Maybe the nacelles should have been back just a tad. Um, are they straight? They're a bit wonky. They're a little bit off, but I'm not going to lose any sleep in it. This bottom one, though, looks a bit wonky. But if I hold the dish straight like that, you can see the bottom half of the star drive is wonky. I mean, it's in a cell. Oh, pieced. If we put it like that, and you can see that is apparently straight according to my camera. And you can see the dish isn't, so... I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Um, the dish is a bit of a naff. All they've done is just kind of painted it. Wouldn't it be nice with that plastic bluey type stuff they sometimes use? The underside is alright. You can see, let's just grease off my fingers. Oh my god, this camera is really annoying me now. Seriously, I'm sure my hands weren't this greasy a minute ago. Uh, the dish is okay. There's no indents, so they can't really align the windows wrong, can they? 
So we'll look at doing here. They've done a reasonable job on the cells. The collectors at the front are like the clear plastic. It's not clear, it's red, but get the idea. You've got the blue plastic, same for all of them. The star drive is quite nice. If we could zoom in enough, come on. You could probably make out, it does say United Federation of Planets. You're going to need some super duper eyesight to see that. Yeah, you can barely see it, but it does say United Federation of Planets just about. Where else we got? Oh, that's quite a big joint there. All the way through the middle, that joint is huge. And look, you can see the impulse engine. It's a bit wonky, isn't it? We're on this stage. So you can just say United Federation of Planets, you just can't. Seriously, since this update on this phone. Yeah, over in the cell being a bit wonky down below, it's not too bad. The top is alright as well. I said there's no indents, they can't really align it too wrong, can they? Yeah, she's not too bad, I reckon. I quite like that one. So, that is an out-of-focus picture again. So that is number 126, the Star Trek Starship Collection by Eagle Moss. And I'll catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.